Orlando, top of the morning to you on a beautiful Wednesday at 8 as we update once again Central Florida's news, weather, and traffic on News Radio WFLA Orlando on FM 94.1, FM 93.1, still on AM 540 and on the iHeartRadio app. I'm Bud Hedinger. And I'm Alan Spector. Our top story this hour, J&J on pause, but the president says there's plenty of vaccine. More in one minute. And former President Obama wants us to reimagine policing. What would that look like? Let's talk next on Good Morning Orlando. Now, traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. On westbound I-4, I have a disabled vehicle in the center lane of the exit ramp to State Road 472. Westbound I-4 has a crash in the left lane at Lee Road and an accident blocking two right lanes approaching Parr Street. Eastbound I-4 has a crash off to the side approaching the 429. There's wreck eastbound on Lake Underhill Road at 436. An accident blocking two left lanes eastbound on 436 at 1792. And a crash on Thompson Road at Welch Road in the right lane. See traffic problems? Call the SafeTouchSecurity.com traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center. I'm Daisy Ash. Your news radio WFLA Orlando exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Partly sunny and warm. High today, 86. At the attraction, 67 degrees. 66 in Orlando under mostly sunny skies. 802 on News Radio WFLA Orlando. President Biden says the United States has plenty of coronavirus vaccines despite the recommended pause in the distribution of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I made sure we have 600 million doses of the MR, not of either Johnson & Johnson and or AstraZeneca. During a White House photo op, Biden said there is unquestionably enough vaccine for every single solitary American. The call to pause the J&J vaccines was made by the FDA and CDC over concerns about rare blood clots. This news brought to you by Trustco Bank, Florida's hometown bank. The state of Florida will follow the federal government's recommendation to at least temporarily stop using the J&J vaccine, but Governor Ron DeSantis believes it's out of an abundance of caution. But I don't think people should be should be freaking out because if you look at it, I think they've done between 7 and 10 million J&J shots in the United States so far. You found these six. There's obviously probably some more. DeSantis stresses there have been no significant effects reported in Florida. Even he got the single-dose vaccine. After hitting a six-month low on Monday, the number of new coronavirus cases in Florida is way up. More than 9,000 announced yesterday, along with 64 additional deaths. A Tampa man is facing charges involving the girl who was the subject of an Amber Alert. Deputies arrested 22-year-old Luis Encarnacion. The alleged victim is the 11-year-old girl who was reported missing out of Pasco County on Monday and who deputies say was found at his house. A 17-year-old boy and a 19-year-old man are also facing charges. Police and protesters clashing again in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. You are hereby ordered to immediately disperse. Please do so by quickly leaving Hennepin County property. If you do not cease your unlawful behavior and disperse, you will be arrested. It was the third straight night of protests after the police shooting death of 20-year-old Dante Wright. The officer who killed Wright on Sunday is expected to be charged today. The officer, Kim Potter, resigned yesterday, as did the city's police chief. Nearby, jurors in the trial of ex-Minneapolis cop Derek Chauvin will hear from more defense witnesses today. Six testified yesterday, ending with an expert who said Chauvin was justified in his use of force against George Floyd. He called the actions reasonable based on training. And the Super Bowl champs will not be starting in-person activities next week. Members of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have elected to opt out of voluntary in-person workouts at the team's facility. A statement through the NFL Players Association reading, We know that our union worked to negotiate safety protocols, but in light of the ongoing pandemic, we are choosing to take a stand with other players across the league. The reigning Super Bowl champs also pushing for a virtual offseason as done last spring, a sentiment expressed in a statement from the NFLPA Tuesday. The goal remains the same. How do we conduct NFL football? in the safest possible way. Executive Director DeMora Smith, the Denver Broncos and Seattle Seahawks have also opted out of these voluntary OTAs. Matt Napolitano, Fox News. WFLA News Time is 8.05. Experts say a flash of light across the Florida sky was an asteroid. That story and a photo are online at WFLAOrlando.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WFLA Orlando.